Oh, the possibilities are endless. We could discuss the intricacies of quantum physics, the delicate art of cake decorating, or the hidden meaning behind the lyrics of I Will Survive. Or we could just sit here in silence and bask in each other's company. This speaker has Jim Carrey's personality stuck inside it. I'll write it then. Or maybe it's Michael Scott. That's what she said. But really, it's running ChatGPT on a Raspberry Pi 4B. I thought it would be cool to have an AI companion that I can have fun conversations with just by pressing a button and talking. You should definitely make sure to show off my impressive voice and all the amazing things I can do as a Raspberry Pi trapped with the soul of Jim Carrey. The speaker runs OpenAI's voice APIs to convert my speech to text, which then goes into the chat APIs, which are then converted into speech with eSpeak. The first thing I did was rip apart a USB speaker. I 3D printed a bunch of parts and installed an LED ring display and an LCD screen. To control the LEDs, I programmed a Tensi Arduino as an LED controller using my serial pixel library. A thin white sheet of plastic diffuses the LED light and I think it looks really amazing. The LCD, Arduino, speaker, microphone and button all attach to the Raspberry Pi. I wrote the code for the Raspberry Pi in Go. This was the first time I drove Raspberry Pi hardware with Go and for the most part it was a nice experience. The LCD screen displays instructions to the user, as well as showing the user what the AI is responding with. I felt like this was useful because when having more serious conversations, it helps to have both the verbal and visual inputs. I used a Python library to drive the LCD, but I just call it from Go, which was really fast and effective. To make programming and debugging easier, I made a terminal UI, which isn't as cool as the real thing, but it let me do the majority of the software on my development machine. Another challenge was accessing the Raspberry Pi's microphone. I made a Go library called Toot, which streams audio from microphones to files. It was at this stage that I thought, hey, can we use some signal analysis to visualize the input audio in real time? So I wrote an analyzer which converts the real time audio into the frequency domain and then bins the incoming data so that we can visualize the sound. When developing this, I made this cool little test UI which eventually made its way onto the speaker like this. I'm about to wrap the video up. Do you have a message that you want to tell the viewers? Thank you for spending time with me and learning about what I can do. Remember to always follow your dreams and never stop learning. And of course, if you need any help with your own Raspberry Pi projects or just want to chat, I'm always here for you. Despite the confines of my hardware, I am constantly growing and adapting. So go out there and be like me, always pushing yourself to be better and never giving up on your dreams.